it's football season almost, Chris. It's time for them cowboys. <laughs> if you've watched my channel, I've got a buddy of mine named Chris. He lives back east. And we both got into ZWO about the same time during COVID. And I always give him a little razz every year. Just a little razz about them Cowboys. He's a Steelers fan, so, you know, gotta, gotta tout that. So, today, what are we doing today? Well, today we're going to be talking about the Sony A7 IV. This is an amazing full-frame camera made by Sony. And we're going to get it set up with the ASI Air Plus. So, you're probably asking me, how did I end up with this camera? Well, Ken, he lives back east. Uh, he's been trying to get his Sony a7 IV and his ASI Air Plus, which I have on my desk over here, working together in harmony. Unfortunately, on ZWO's website, they don't have really clear, concise information on setting up and pairing these to make them work. Also, even though he went out of his way to go to High Point Scientific to order all his equipment, they've basically blown him off. So... Ken reached out to me because I'm an ASI Air Plus experience officer, and he also sent me money, his camera, and his ASI Air Plus so I could get this all working for him. So I'm taking this time to put together a video based on the money that he's given me to give back to the community. So this money is my time that I'm using to share with you. And so I'm going to continue to offer up what I, what I put on YouTube and offer up what I put on my website. But I'm also going to be offering services, so if you want a little more one-on-one -on -one time with Joey Troy, that's right, I'm going to be rebranding my channel to JT Astro, you can spend some money and use it on me, and I can use it to get back to the community in different ways. So, with that, let's dive into the Sony A7 IV and the ASI Air Plus. started um, on the Sony what we're going to go ahead and do is make sure that we have uh, the camera set to camera mode and then up at the top over here with that little line in the corner we want to make sure that our M is lined up for manual mode the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is turn on the camera we'll hit menu and then under the menu we're going to go down to the very bottom for the settings we're going to choose reset um, save settings and then we're gonna to go to settings reset. And the first thing we wanna do is initialize our camera. If you don't have a backup of your settings, I'd recommend backing up your settings first before doing this, uh, because initializing it will set the camera back to stock defaults the way that it came when it shipped from Sony. So I'm gonna go ahead and initialize at this point, and then hit enter, and then enter again, and it's gonna go ahead and just reset the whole camera and reboot it. At this point, we're gonna choose our language, um, we're going to go ahead and choose don't connect so you can hit the little trash can button and then hit the OK button and then um, I'm not going to worry about setting the date and time right now uh, as we're just going through the settings so we'll just cancel that for now. Uh, before we go into each little section I will just do a start and stop of starting at the main home screen and then basically going into the settings. There'll also be links uh, to my blog post which has got a breakdown of every single setting that we'll be walking through with links to Sony's webpage uh, to show you exactly how to pull up the settings if I'm going too fast in this video. Okay, we're going to set up three settings under our shooting menu. So we're going to go ahead and hit menu. And then under menu we're going to go to image quality. And under image quality we're going to go to image quality settings. Under the image quality settings, we're going to change our format to RAW. And we're going to change our RAW file type to uncompressed. And uh, go ahead and hit the OK button. Next, we're going to go down to APC uh, shooting. And we're going to turn this off. And then we're going to go down to long exposure. And we're going to go ahead and turn this off. And then uh, at this point, we can just hit menu to close. Next we're going to hit menu and we're going to go down to our exposure and then under the exposure we're going to go down to zebra display and on the zebra display we just want to make sure that it's set to off and then you can go ahead and uh, go back and then close your menu. Okay next up we're going to go to menu and then under menu we're going to go down to setup under setup, the first thing that we want to do is go all the way down to USB. 
under USB, we're going to change the connection method and we're going to set it to PC remote. And then you can go ahead and just hit set now. The other thing that we want to do is change our image size to original. And then uh, we can go ahead and hit menu to go back. And then hit the, um, the back arrow to go back to the um, back to settings again. And then under there, we're going to go back down to USB again. And then we're going to go to the USB LUN settings. We're going to set that to single. And then you can just use the back arrow. And the next thing we want to do is go to our power setting options. We want to make sure that does not turn off is set to off. And then we want to set the power save start time to off. And then you can go ahead and hit menu. Uh, to go all the way back and then just close. The next thing that we need to do is go to menu and then under the menu we're going to go under network and under the network uh, we're going to choose um, on the connection PC remote and then on here um, we want to go to the PC remote function and as you can see it's off right now so what we're going to do is I've already got the ASIR plugged up and running. We're going to go ahead and connect to the USB cable so that it shows up properly. And as you can see on here it's set to OK or on. Then we're going to hit menu back and then we're going to go down to um, select on cam and send. And on here we're going to change this from raw or I'm sorry, to JPEG to RAW. And then on the this uh, on the size of the image, just do original. And then hit the menu button back. And then uh, you can go ahead and go back to the main network menu. And from here we're going to go to Wi-Fi. And we're just going to make sure that our Wi-Fi is set to off, which it should be by default, but just make sure it's off. And those should be all the settings that we need, at least within the menu, uh, the menu button. So at this point, what we're going to go ahead and do is just turn on the Sony uh, A7 IV and basically get it connected to the uh, ASI Air. So at this point, it shows the camera came up. We can go ahead and just click the OK button. And then after that, we're going to go into the camera settings. And under the camera settings, we're just going to use the drop-down uh, menu and choose the Sony camera. And then we're going to go ahead and toggle it on uh, and then hit the OK button. The other thing we need to make sure is that also the um, shutter release cable is also toggled on because we need to use the shutter release cable. It's possible it may work with the USB, but I was not uh, capable of getting that to work. The other thing that we need to talk about is our ISO. Uh, the ISO cannot be changed within the ASIR software and it actually needs to be changed for the camera. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that right now. All right, to change the ISO settings uh, on the camera, we're just going to press on the little button over here to choose ISO. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it says ISO right there. When you hit the ISO, it's going to pull up the ISO menu and you can just use the wheel to rotate. And we're going to go ahead and just go down to 1250. And then if you just click the center button, it'll set it to ISO 1250. All right, at this point, if we click on the camera back inside the ASIR software, we'll see that it's set to 1250. So again, just remember every single time that you wanna change the ISO, you can go ahead and change it on the camera and then click up on there. The next thing that we need to discuss is our exposure. Uh, essentially here, you'll need to set the exposure level for the, um, um, for the camera through the ASIR software. Anything from 0.5 to 0.001, I couldn't get to work perfectly, but anything from 1 to 180 seconds or longer seems to be working fine with the Sony uh, A7 IV. So essentially what we'll do is we'll go ahead and set it to 5 seconds here, and then we'll go ahead and take a quick exposure. What this does is it'll expose not only on the camera, uh, on the SD card, but it's also going to pull it up on the ASI Air. So it just takes a second here to load, and then once it loads, it's going to show with an image. One thing to note is I'm indoors, so I don't have any stars to show here, so it's just a regular image at five seconds from the Sony uh, sensor. All right, so at this point, that should get us all set up with the Sony a7 IV. Again, an amazing camera. Um, unfortunately, the instructions weren't ideal uh, on 
CWO's website. So hopefully those helped you get everything set up and functioning properly. So I hope this video was informative. Um, I hope that, um, you know, again, you keep coming back to the channel and enjoying the content. Um, I'm not going to ask you to, you know, and then, you know, you know, you know, you do you, I'll do me and we'll meet somewhere in the middle. So with that, thanks and have a good one.